<clears throat> hello hello good morning everybody <laughs> hello so good to see you Oh, so good to see you. Good morning, Lily, Julia, Moni, Julie, Janie, Vanessa, Asia, Victory, and Ivana. How are we doing on this beautiful, warm morning? <laughs> Yay, wow, somebody's excited. Janie, you have, you have summer or spring now in New Zealand, no? Isn't it like getting summer? Yes. Yes, it's becoming summer you can awesome. feel it <laughs> yeah looks like it i'm jealous <laughs> still dark here good beautiful so today we are going to work on our reverse grip and floor bow uh, for that you will need a yoga mat i have two blocks if you have two straps take two straps if you don't then uh, take two t-shirts or scarves and what else yes have a blanket or something to place underneath your belly because we'll be doing a bunch of cobras and it may get painful for the bones the pubic bone the hip bones so go ahead grab your props and we'll be starting right away in a standing position so please I the standing position. I'm gonna also take my water here. It's a thirsty morning. Good. Please come to standing and we'll just start with our half moon stretches. Easy peasy, nothing dynamic today. I mean, not too dynamic. You will have your feet about hip width apart. On your inhale, you will reach your arms overhead, interlace your fingers, release your index fingers, cross your thumbs in your Kali Mudra. On your inhale, reach your arms even higher. On your exhale, side bend to the right and really focus on the form rather than the depth. You wanna have your arms extended if possible, maybe even palms connected. You're rooting down through your left heel, inhale, center, grow taller, exhale to the left. Repeat, inhale up, exhale to the right, inhale up, exhale to the left. We'll do three more times on each side, inhale center, exhale right, inhale center, exhale left, two more, center, breathe in, exhale right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Good. Last one. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Good. Inhale, center. Exhale to interlace your fingers behind your back. On your inhale, bend your knees in your chair pose. Utkatasana, reach with your knuckles back and up. Send the hips back and the chest forward. Good. Exhale, fold. Release the head down. Shift your weight more to your toes. We'll repeat this. Inhale, bend your knees. Lift the knuckles higher. Send the, the hips back. Exhale, fold over your legs. Three more times. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Two. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Release your hands down to the floor. Grab your opposite elbows. Let your body sway side to side. Shift your weight more to your toes as you're here. And pull both of your kneecaps up. You want to feel your quad, the front of your legs, active. Shake your head, yes and no. Completely relax your neck. Take a full deep breath in. 
and out. Beautiful. On your inhale, begin to bend your knees. Squat down. Bring your chin to your chest as you're squatting down, coming into your malasana. In your malasana, your chin is by your chest and you feel a stretch at the back of your neck. You breathe in to the back of your neck. Exhale, start to extend your legs. Repeat, bend your knees. Inhale. Exhale to extend your legs. Good. Three more. Inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, extend your legs. Two. Inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, extend your legs. Last one. Inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, extend your legs. Release your hands down. Bend your knees and begin to roll up, come into a standing position. Rolling a vertebra by vertebra, roll the shoulders back a couple of times, open the chest. Okay. And then reach with your hands back again. This time, try to have the other thumb on top. So the one that feels a little weird. Inhale to lift the knuckles high. On your exhale, bend your elbows, bring your hands to your right body side. Squeeze the elbows towards the midline of the body. Relax the shoulders down and let your head fall to your right shoulder. Good. On your inhale, turn your chin slightly up to the ceiling. Feel the stretch, maybe open your mouth. Exhale, chin to chest, roll it over to the left side. Inhale, look up. Exhale, down, roll it over to the right side one more time. Inhale, look up. Exhale, left. Inhale, look up. Exhale, right. Beautiful. Inhale, extend the arms back, open the chest. Exhale, other side. Hands to the left side body. Squeeze the elbows in, relax the shoulders. Head to your left shoulder. On your inhale, look at the ceiling. Again, maybe open the mouth, feel the stretch in the neck. On your exhale, roll it over to the right. Inhale up. Exhale left. Inhale up. Exhale, right. Good. Inhale up. Last one. Exhale, left. And then you lift the head up. Release the hands. Reach them back one more time. And then on your exhale, uninterlace the fingers. Bring the arms up. Interlace them again. Now bring your hands to the back of your head. Keep the spine straight and just drop your chin to your chest. Stay here. Just let the gravity pull your head down. Do not do anything else. Good. One more breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Good. On your inhale, open the elbows wide, wide, wide. Maybe find a little back bend. On your exhale, again, chin to chest. And you can micro bend your knees and I want you to tuck your pelvis under as much as, as you can. Feel the stretch at the back of your spine. Good. Again, inhale, open the chest, open the elbows, maybe lean back a little bit. Exhale, tuck your pelvis under. Full breath here, inhale. Exhale. Two more times. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, maybe you lean back a little. Open the elbows wide actively. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, chin to chest. Full breath in. And out. Last one. Inhale, open. Exhale, chin to chest. Breathing. 
breathe out. Good. Inhale, open the elbows, release the hands. Last standing posture we do is a twist. And this will be an active one. I want you to bend your left arm and extend your right arm. Good. You'll be twisting from your navel upwards. So you want to keep your hips more or less in one line. Do not twist them too much to the right as we go to this direction. Good. And on your exhale, while keeping the hips aligned, looking forward, you want to twist to the right. Good. Stay here. I'm going to go sideways here. Inhale. Exhale, twist more, twist more, twist more. Good. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Use your strength to come into a twist. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Inhale, come to the center. Switch the sides. Bend your right elbow. Extend your left arm. Inhale. Exhale, twist. Left hip wrapping forward. Inhale. Exhale, twist. Two more. Breathe in. Breathe out and twist. Last one. Breathe in. Breathe out and twist. Good, inhale, come back to the center. Do any movements you need to do and we'll be meeting on our hands and knees. So whenever you're ready, please join us in the tabletop position. Good, just going through a few cats and cows. On your inhale, lift your sis bones up, pull the hands back energetically, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Reach with the chest forward, look up, fix my mic. Exhale, tuck your pelvis under, chin to chest, push the ground away. Good. Inhale, look up. Exhale, pelvis under, push the ground away. We'll add a little core activation. Your toes are pointed. Inhale, regular cow tilt, look up. Exhale, push the tops of your feet against the mat. Hover your knees above the ground, chin to chest. Knees down, inhale, look up. Exhale, hover the knees above the ground. Two more, knees down, inhale, look up. Exhale, push the ground away. Last one, knees down, inhale, look up. Exhale, push the ground away, hover the knees, hold for five, four, full rounding in the back, three, two, and one. Knees down, tuck your toes under, sit on your heels, take your. Woohoo! <laughs> so take your strap. And I'm sure most of you know what we're going to do. If you do not, watch me. In your shoulder flossing drill, my favorite, you want to have your elbows straight the entire time. You want the strap to be completely straight. You come from the front, reach your arms up. On the way back, you actively need to squeeze the shoulder blades closer together and then release your hands down. Again, inhale up, exhale forward and down. And you repeat, make sure, okay, keep going. Uh -huh. Make sure your elbows are completely straight. So Vanessa, you can make your strap even longer because I see you're bending your elbows a little. Good. Very nice. And absolutely do challenge yourself. So if you notice this is too easy, then make the strap shorter. Okay. You ladies are looking fine. Good. <laughs> well, let's keep doing this for about one minute. And as you do more and more, you walk your hands closer and closer together, intensifying the stretch. Get up and back and down, really paying attention to how your shoulder blades 
need to squeeze actively closer together on your way down. Get up and forward, up and back. Keep going, walk the hands closer together. Absolutely challenge yourself. Good. We continue for about 15 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Reach your arms up and back. Arms at the height of your shoulders. Notice it's at the height of the shoulders. Pull with the right arm. Pull with the left arm. Pull with the right arm. And with left. 10 times, <laughs> right and left, nine, right and left, eight, right, left, seven, seven. right, left, six, keep breathing, do not give up, four, three, two, and one, coming to the center, release your strap down and do any sort of neck stretches or shoulder stretches you need to do at this point. Moving deeper and deeper into our, into our shoulder openings. And you're going to come into your tabletop again. Now take your blocks. If you do not have blocks, you can also place your hands on a chair or on a countertop. I'm gonna wait for you there. Puppy pose and countertop stretch series. Start with your knees below your hips. One straight line from your wrists to your hips. You're looking forward the entire time. Inhale, you lift your sits bones up, arch your back. Exhale, tuck your pelvis under, push the ground away. Inhale. On your exhale, belly in, push the hands against the blocks. Inhale, open. Exhale, tuck it under. Five more times. Inhale. Exhale. Four, inhale, exhale, three, inhale, exhale, two, open, tuck it under, one, open, tuck it under, stay in this position, tucked under position and you bounce, you bounce and bounce. For 10, keep bouncing. Nine, minimize the back bend, just focus on the shoulders. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now arch your back, look forward, and you can place down your chin, your forehead, and just allow yourself to stay here. If your arms are quite high, maybe your chin or forehead are not coming to the floor. That's fine. In that case, you hang in the air. Five more breaths. Four. Three. Two. And one, good, slowly come out, walk your knees forward, relax the arms, do any stretches necessary. We'll be moving into our tabletop series number two. <laughs>
you will start in your tabletop. And actually, before you start, make a little loop in your strap, a loop that you will later be placing around your ankle. So just make sure it's small and have it nearby. Good. All right. This is what we'll do. You'll extend your right leg back, like your left toes under, left arm forward. First, you lift up. Then you bend your right knee and twist with your left arm to the back. <laughs> Inhale, apart. Exhale, knee and elbow touch. And we do this five times. So let's begin. Apart, inhale, exhale, twist, inhale, apart, exhale, knee and elbow touch, two, apart, twist, apart, knee and elbow touch, three, apart, twist, apart, knee and elbow touch, four, twist, Apart, knee and elbow, last one, twist, and knee and elbow, good. Hands and knees down, switch the sides, extend your left leg back, right arm forward, up, two twist, apart, together, second, apart, twist, apart. Together, three more. And your twist. And together, two. Twist, apart. Together, last one. Twist, apart. Together, and down. Yes, sit on your heels and wrap your strap around your right ankle, wrap it around your right ankle so that the end of the strap is where your Achilles tendon is. So it's not at the front of the leg, but at the back. And you will place your strap over your left shoulder. So it's right leg and left shoulder. Good. This is what we'll do, watch me. You will have your foot flexed on your right leg. You'll extend your arm. So right now my right leg is bent, my left arm is extended. From here, I will extend my right leg and keep the left arm straight. Bend the leg and extend. Bend and extend. Um, the closer your arm is to your foot, the more challenging it is. So you want to find ex um, a length of a strap that is not too too easy, but also not too hard. <laughs> Good. Let's give it a try. I'm going to actually look at you to see the form, to check the form. Good. And also really focus on the balance by rooting your right hand down, gripping the mat with your fingertips. Beautiful, Jenny. Good. And fully extend your knee, Vanessa, as you kick back. Yes, Lily, fully extend the knee. Make sure you're challenging yourself. <laughs> I know you can do a lot here. Good. Very nice, Julia. Bend. And then kick back. Keep pushing out through the right arm. Moni, I'm watching. Very nice. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, Julia. Nice. Ivanka, I'm watching. Yes, and kick it back. Feel the stretch. Masia, you go. Straighten that elbow. Straighten that elbow. Yes. Staying here. Doing this for about five more seconds. I'm going to join you. Two. And. One, now keep your right leg straight and just push, uh, pull with your right arm, uh, with your left arm forward. One, two, keep the leg straight as you pull it forward. Three, four, 
Get five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Slowly release. Come down. We switch the sides. Put your strap on your other foot. And we repeat same thing here as we did before. Now the strap goes over your right shoulder. You're rooting down. Yes, you're rooting down through your left arm. You find your length of strap that suits you. And then you kick back through the right leg and pull it forward. Kick back and bend. Kick back and bend. Keep going. I will check your form. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Exhale to kick it back. <laughs> this is yeah, challenging for balance, but it will be so good for you. Good. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Very nice. Very nice, all of you. 10 more seconds. I'm enjoying you for a little bit. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Extend your left leg and just pull it forward with your right arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10, good, and release, release, release. Remove the strap. We'll be meeting in a downward facing dog position. You can place the strap aside and meet us in the down dog. Do any movements you need to do in your downward facing dog. You can bend your knees, right, left, left, right. Shake the head, yes and no. Good. Four more breaths in your down dog. Three. Two. And one, bring your feet together. Inhale, lift your right leg up, bend your right knee, open your right hip, keep the shoulders in one line. And circle with your right knee in the air in one direction. And then the other way around. And inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right knee to the nose. Step with your right foot between the hands, left knee down, left knee directly underneath your hips. We do nerve flossing. Keep your hips in one line. Interlace your fingers behind your right leg. And you want to push the leg away from you. Tuck your pelvis under and bring your chin to your chest. By simply tucking your pelvis under here, you probably feel a stretch in the front of your left thigh, left hip. Maybe the stretch goes all the way through the spine to the neck, but maybe not. To intensify the stretch, you will keep this tuck under position, but move your hips more forward. Find a position where you feel a good challenge. So it's not too easy, not excruciating. And from this position, you will look forward, move your hips more forward. And then you tuck your pelvis under and move back. Eight times, inhale forward. Exhale back. Nine. 
eight, nine, no, six, <laughs> whatever numbers, <laughs> five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Find your lunge, tuck your left toes under and move your left knee more back so that you come into a nice deep lunge with your right knee on top of your right ankle. Keep your hips as low as you can, left toes tucked under. You can use your blocks underneath your hands or have them on your right leg. You will extend your left knee without moving your hips up and then down with the knee. Okay, extend the leg. Keep your hips in one line and then down. Up and down. Five more. Up and down. Four. Up. Down. Three. Up. Down. Two. Up. Down. Last one. Up. Now bounce. Five. Keep bouncing. Squeeze your left butt. Four. Three, two, and one, left knee down, hands down, extend your right leg, half splits, enjoy, you can do a few circles with your foot in one direction and in the other direction. Good, three breaths, three more breaths in your half splits. Beautiful. Bend your right knee. A left hand underneath your left shoulder. Reach your right arm back. Hold the outside of your left foot. If you cannot hold it, then use your strap to hold it. Push with your foot against the hand. Open the right shoulder. Twist. Exhale. Hand against the foot. Again, foot against the hand. And hand against the foot. Three more, foot against the hand, hand against the foot, two, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, and exhale, good, release your foot, toe heel your right foot to the center, push the ground away, down dock. Second side, left leg up, bend your left knee, open your left hip, keep the shoulders in one line, circle with your left knee in the air, in one direction. And then you circle it the other way around. Good, inhale, extend your left leg up. Exhale, left knee to your nose. Step with your left foot between the hands, right knee goes down. Hip flossing. Hips in one line. Interlace your fingers behind your left leg. Push the leg away, tuck your pelvis under. Good, tuck your pelvis under, stay here. If you need to intensify the stretch, move your hips more forward until you feel a good challenge. This is your starting point from here. You move the hips more to the front, look forward. Exhale, tuck the pelvis under. And again, forward. And in. Forward. And in. Five. Forward. In. Four. In three, tuck it under, two, tuck it under, last one, you 
Duck it under and hold here for three, two, and one. Good, look forward, tuck your right toes more under, more under, tuck it under and walk your right knee back. Good, left knee on top of your left ankle, belly engaged, lower back neutral. You will tuck your right toes under and extend the right leg one and then release it back down. And again, you extend it, squeeze your right butt and release it down. Five, down, four, three, two, and one. Bounce for five, four, three, good, two, and one, right knee down, hands down, half splits, three breaths, enjoy, do anything you need to do, and circle with your left ankle. And two more breaths. And one, left foot flat, walk your left foot more to the left, bend your left knee, right hand underneath your right shoulder, reach your left arm up and back, hold the outside of your right foot. And then you're going to kick with your foot against the hand, open the chest, the hand pushes against the foot, kick your foot against the hand. Hand against the foot. Five more. Four. Three. Two. Squeeze your right butt as you kick the foot in. And one. Hold here for three, two, and one. Release your right leg, hands down, step it back, down dog. Good. We're slowly nearing our peak poses. You'll shift the shoulders over wrists and on your exhale, slowly come down onto your belly. Cobra series. Let me show you what we'll do, and then I'll watch you as you're doing it. Five regular cobras, five with legs, three with one arm on one side, three with one arm on the other side, and then five active. This is how it's going to look. This is the regular one. You start low, and each round you can come higher and higher. Fingertips underneath your shoulders. Squeeze the elbows in. Look up. Roll the shoulders back. Squeeze the elbows in. Pull back with the hands, chest reaches more forward. You come as high as you can, and then you slowly come down. The second one with legs looks the same, but you also bend your knees as you're lifting your chest up. The one armed, you have your hand underneath your shoulder, the other arm extended forward, and the closer to your hip is your hand the more challenging it will be the more forward it is the easier it will be so you can decide starting underneath the shoulder is the the golden middle path you will do basically the same thing as before you're looking up while you're lifting up and then you slowly come down at the side looks the same and the active cobra Arms next to the body, palms flat, feet mat distance apart. You start with the head, same thing, but you don't use your arms to lift up. So let's do this. I'm going to watch you and <laughs> you will nail it. Get excited. Cobras, regular cobras, five pieces. You can go on your own. Mm -hmm. Roll the shoulders back. Jamie, shoulder blades slide down the back. Mm -hmm. 
Beautiful. Do it slowly, do it smoothly, and also look up. We are also opening the front of the throat, and you want to learn to lift the head up, maybe release it back in a controlled way. So this is a good practice ground for that. Mm -hmm. Shoulders, sh roll the shoulders more back, Julie, even more. <laughs> good. Julia, you go. Maybe you can go deeper. I know you can go a little bit deeper. Yes. <laughs> Slowly, but deeply. Very nice. Very good, Lily. Mm -hmm. Very good, Asya. Very nice, ladies. Mm hmm And the hands are pulling back so that the chest comes more forward. Keep going. I'll just quickly grab my other strap because I realize I just have one with me. So I'll be right back. Good. If you're down and relaxing, wiggle your hips. It always helps. <laughs> Beautiful, Lily. Is everybody done with everything? I don't think so. Yes, the one arm. Uh huh. Eva, Ipcha. Very good. That's it. And you can keep both legs down, or you can bend them, but it will be more challenging. Very nice, Vanessa. Very nice, Janie. Beautiful, Julia. Yes. And also the challenge is to do it a little slower. <laughs> Beautiful. You go, money. Yes. Lift, 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 lift. Reach back, back, back. Like that. Nice. Good. Press the feet down, Lily. Strong. <laughs> it's beautiful. I'm just saying. Yes. And you can lift arms even higher. <laughs> I'm just going to push you on this morning. Sorry. <laughs> lift it up. <laughs> do a couple more. I'm going to tell you what to do. <laughs> yes. Lift up. Arms even higher, arms higher, arms higher, arms overhead. Whee! And down. <laughs> Good. Mm -hmm. Keep the feet rooted, ladies, as you do your active cobras. Huh? Maybe, Julia, a little bit closer together with the legs. And whenever you're done, you can just rest. Very nice, Julie. Julie, oh. Mm -hmm. Good. High with the arms, Icha. And turn the palms away from you as you're doing the active cobra lift. Palms away. So that the front of the shoulder opens. Mm-hmm. If you're done, just wait for the rest to be done. Because we're all almost done. Good. And if you are done, you can shift yourself into a child's pose, but with your knees wide. Knees wide so that your spine doesn't round much, so that the spine is long. Good. Then you breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. It's 
slowly walk your hands to your knees, come into a seat. And we are approaching our peak pose. This is how it, it will be done. You will make loops around your ankles and then the strap will go between your big toe and your second toe. So it's, uh, it's it looks like flip-flops. Take time to do it on both feet. And if you don't have a strap or you're just using a t-shirt, the, uh, the strap will not go between your big toe and your second toe, likely. So in that case, it's fine to just have it go from the front of your ankle. Doesn't have to be perfect, but for future, do get your straps. <laughs> All right. If you're done with this on both sides, we will do the regular floor bow. And for some, for the second round, you may not need to hold your strap. Maybe you will just hold your feet and reverse your grip that way. But watch me. So I have my two straps here. I'm going to bend my knees. And first I do the reverse grip only on one side. So I have my arm next to me, palm facing up, thumb pointing back. And I place my strap between my thumb and my index finger. I'll use my left hand to support me in a sphinx pose. From here, I lift the I lift the left, uh, the right elbow forward and start to extend the leg and kick. The other leg can stay on the mat. You can stay here. Maybe you push yourself away with your left arm a little bit more and just see you know, how you feel here. You do it on one side, then you practice your reverse grip on the other side. Again, wrapping it between your index finger and your thumb, reaching forward with the, um, with the elbow, and then you start to kick, 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 kick. After you do it on one side and the other side, you do it on both sides. Starting on your elbows, you will hold your straps. This time is really important that you actively root down through your hips and your belly is pressing down. So the soft part of your belly. You'll inhale without your legs going too wide apart. So stay hip width apart in the feet and knees. You will lift your elbows forward and start to kick up, up, up. After that, you come down and I'll show you the other options. So let's practice these three. First on one side, then the other side. You're starting on your forearm. If you wish to move a little bit more into your lower back, then you can also lift your elbow like you did in Cobra lifts, um, but generally focus on rooting down through the hips and kicking up actively through the legs. Let's do it. Good. Mm -hmm. And see if you can, yeah, if you're quite flexible here, see if you can extend your leg. So then it's a bit more about the strength. Yes, extend the leg, extend the leg, extend the arm. Beautiful. Keep kicking through both. Definitely work on extending the arm. That's our number one goal right now. Good. Very nice. Keep kicking higher, Jamie. Beautiful. Keep kicking and kicking. And see if you can hold there for about three breaths. Mm -hmm. Holding and kicking up. Extending the knee, extending the elbow. Beautiful. Two, nice money. Extend the elbow, extend the leg, kick it up. Feel the strength in your glute as you kick up. Mm hmm Very good. You go, Janie. <laughs> Open the chest. Kick up. Yes, beautiful. Yes, see if you can extend your legs and your arms, Lily. Straight legs, straight legs. Good, kick it up, 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 up. Whee! <laughs> 
Nice. Very good. All right. Take time to finish if you need to take time to finish. And I'll show you our next two options. Option number one, you repeat your floor bow with two straps, but this time you try to walk your hands as close to your feet as possible. So you walk your hands as close to your feet as possible. You flip one grip, you flip your other grip, then you walk your hands even closer to your feet. And with your hands as close as you can to your feet, you will kick it up just like before, pressing down through the belly, kicking up through the legs, um, relaxing in the shoulders. If this worked out for you, you will. Turn your left arm in. Reach with your, you can lose the strap, reach with your right hand back, fingers together. You'll place your hand from the bottom or from the top of the foot where the nails are. After this is done, you point your toes, pull your elbow in and forward, and you start to kick up. Full grip on one side. You practice that. Then you practice full grip on the other side. Again, palm looking up. You hold the flexed foot from the top, point your toes, Move your elbow forward. If that works out on one side and the other side, you can do both sides at the same time. Make sure knees and feet don't go too far apart. On your exhale, you kick and relax the shoulders. Extra challenge, get out of the pose as slowly as you can and with as much control as you can. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. I'm watching. These are our final bits. So after this, I will have for you one fun variation. Beautiful, Janie. Beautiful. Nice, Moni. Extend the legs more. Maybe I think you can make the strap even shorter. I think that would work for you. <laughs> Good. Yes, Asia. You go. Very nice, Julia. <laughs> Shake it out and try again. <laughs> Relax the shoulders and do it on an exhale. If I'm watching you, <laughs> now is your time <laughs> to do it again. Uh -huh. Beautiful. Elbows a little bit closer together, if chat. Uh -huh. And exhale to kick the legs up. Extend the arms. Extend the arms. Completely relax the shoulders. Very nice, Julia. You go. Kick it up. Relax the shoulders. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah. Mm hmm. Good. And extend the legs, relax the shoulders on an exhale, Lily. You can do it. You can do a full, full bowl. Yes, kick it up. Exhale. Good. All right. Good job, ladies. Take a little break. Yes, Asia, very good. Very good. Kick up, kick up, kick up. Yes. Nice. Take all the break, and I'll show you the last things we can do here. Option one, um, no, actually we'll do this. Still keep the straps on, on you. Option one would be one legged. This is like a king dancer almost. I think it would be fun for us to try. You can have your strap go between your big toe and your second toe. You will start on your belly reach back with one hand, hold the strap. So now my strap is around the right foot. I'm grabbing with my right hand. 
you'll have your left arm in front of you. You'll reverse the grip. And then after you reverse it, you will try to hold the strap or maybe even the foot with both of your hands. So you walk your hands down the strap, maybe find a foot. Holding your foot or strap with both hands. Option one, you do one-legged active bow. So my left leg is also in the air, but I'm holding with both hands just the right leg. So this is one option. Second option, you tuck your left toes under and you roll over <coughs> to your belly. My left knee is on the ground. I can either keep my left foot on the ground for more balance or I hug the left heel in. Additionally, you can also work on extending the arms, whether you're holding the foot or the strap. And then you come out slowly and gracefully. <laughs> so two options. Option one, active floor bow, two hands hold one foot. Second option, you take it forward to your belly. It can hurt on the books a little. So just saying, don't be surprised if it does. <laughs> Push them aside. <laughs> Let's give it a try. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Good, Jenny. Nice. Yes, Lily, find your foot with the hand. And now kick up and hover your left leg above the ground as well. Left leg up. Yes. Beautiful. Nice. Hold, hold, hold. Uh-huh. Very good, Julia. Very nice, Jenny. Beautiful. Nice, Asia. Vicky, I don't see you at all. <laughs> That's why I never comment on you. But I believe you're doing well. Good. Keep going, ladies. I'm loving this view. Good. And you tilt it forward. Good, Lily. Hug your heel in. Hug your heel in. Look up and kick the leg forward. Good. Very nice, Ivana. Very good. Very good. Beautiful, Janie. Mm -hmm. Find your toes, Lily. Yes. Nice. Good job. Good job. Beautiful, all of you. I'm very proud. Do the second side. If you've done it, you can rest or do one more floor bow with reverse grip, and then we'll close the practice. So you can do your one last, actually it would be nice to do one last full floor bow with both hands either holding the strap or holding the foot before we all finish. So I'm gonna do this with you. I'm gonna do just one with you. Good. So you come into your bow and if you feel like being creative, you can bend one elbow, other elbow, both elbows. <laughs> Wherever you are, stay in your bow for three, for two, and one. Coming out with control, we will stay on the belly, place your forehead on your hands, bend your knees while your, knee, your feet fall to the right, to the left, right, 
left, right, and left. Good. Wiggle the hips. Then you look forward. Come down to your forearms or come up to your forearms. Tuck your toes under and lift up into a forearm plank. We need to stabilize the core after so many back bends. So find a nice forearm plank. Good. Hold. Hold, hold for 10. Nine. Push out through your elbows. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Stay here. Hips fall to the right side and then to the left. Right and left. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two and one. Good. Knees down. Exhale, child's pose. Keep the knees wide for now, still. Knees wide, spine neutral. Take a full breath in. Full breath out. Full breath in. Full breath out. And then you bring your knees closer together and bring the arms next to the legs. Forehead down, relax your shoulders. Full breath in. Full breath out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Slowly press down through the knees, roll up into standing. Swing your legs forward. Good. Hug your legs. Inhale, chest forward. Exhale, chin to chest, round your back, pull back. Inhale, to forward. Exhale, pull back. Two more. Inhale, to forward. Exhale, back. One. Inhale, to forward. And exhale, back. Stay here for three. Two. One, good, look forward. Extend your left leg forward. Right knee's bent. Last little pieces. Bend your left elbow, extend your right arm. Exhale to twist to the right. Active twist. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale, twist more. Two, inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. And exhale. Now you can hug your right leg with your left arm. Passive twist for three more. Two. Last inhale. And exhale. Good. Inhale, look forward. Switch the sides. Straight right leg, left knee bent. Right elbow bent, left arm points back. Inhale, straight spine. Exhale, active twist. Good. Inhale. Exhale, more of an active twist. Last. Inhale. 
and exhale. Right arm hugs your left leg. A less active twist <laughs> for three. Two. And one. Beautiful look forward. Last thing, forward fold. You can do it passive, round your back or active long spine hold the outer edges of your feet and actively pull yourself forward 10 breaths 9 8 7 Six, five, four, three. Two. And one. Inhale to slowly come up. And we're done. Congratulations. Yay. We nailed it. <laughs> Happy Thursday to us. <laughs> Dear ladies, thank you for joining this practice if you have any questions ask away if not let me just tell you how proud of you i am for joining this class in the morning or in the evening depending on where you are and yeah next week we'll do lower body again um and also next week on wednesday i'll be teaching a handstand workshop online from 6 till 8 p.m so if you want to join, join. If you can join, um, I think that would be even morning for you, Janie, no? Yeah, but you need to go to work probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> but anyway, the recording will be available. So just make sure to register. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.